Good morning class. Welcome to today's math lesson. We're continuing to work on the area of a triangle, but we're taking things up a notch. So today we're looking at textbook page 69. So if you could get your textbook out so you can follow along, that's this page. And I'm going to do these problems with you because your work is actually going to be page 70. Okay. So we're going to go through page 69 together and then I will send you on your way. So let's get started. So today we're looking to find the shaded area of each rectangle and I've tried my best to shade these areas to show you what it looks like. Um, so you'll see in question four the shaded area of the rectangle is actually just a triangle. Okay and so we're just finding it within the rectangle. Okay and you'll remember that our formula is half times base times height. Okay so we'll keep that in mind and you can have your anchor chart in front of you and let's look at this one. So we can see that we've been given two measurements, 20 centimeters, and then the side of the rectangle is 12 centimeters. But you can see that this is actually the height of the triangle, the 12 centimeters. So that means that we're just going to do half times 20 times 12, okay? Which is half times 240 which is 120 and our, our unit is centimeters so it's 120 centimeters squared. All right so for the second question you'll see again we've been given the measurement that indicates that that's going to be our base because if you'll notice we know that this rectangle has a right angle here and this side is the same height as the triangle. So that means that our 18 meters is what we're going to be working with. Okay, so again, we're going to do half times 4 times 18, okay, which equals half times 72, I believe. Yep, all right, which equals 36. And our units are meters, so it's 36 meters squared, okay? So do you see how that works? So that's how question four looks, but question five is a little bit different. So what you have to do for this is to find both of the areas. So we have to find the area of our little triangle, but because it's asking for the shaded area again, and the shaded area is the rectangle minus the triangle, that means that we have to find both. So let's start with the area of the rectangle. It's eight times 12, because it's just length times width. Okay, so the area, I'm gonna write a little A, and then of the rectangle is eight times 12, which is 96 centimeters squared. Okay? So now let's deal with the triangle so we can find the difference. So it tells us that this length is seven centimeters and we see that this is our little right angle and we're gonna use this as our height because we know that that's the same on both ends. So that means we're working with half times seven times eight, which equals half times 56. All right which equals 28 centimeters squared. Okay, so now we're going to sort ourselves out. So we're gonna take this area and subtract this area off of it. So 96 minus 28, all right, is 68. Okay, so that is our area. So the area, the shaded area is 68 centimeters squared. Okay, does that make sense? You have to do two equations for that problem. Okay. All right, let's keep going. So for B, our rectangle is 20 meters by 16 meters. So again, let's start there, area of the rectangle equals, let's do that, 320 
meters. Okay, and now we're gonna find our triangle. And you can see, this is our little right angle, so we're working with this base and this height. So half times 10 times 16, which is half times 160, which means it's 80. Okay, and it's 80 meters squared. So that's the area of our little triangle in here. And we just have to do the subtraction now, okay? So 320 minus 80 is 240. Okay, so our area is 240 meters squared for the shaded area. Okay, which you should see in your textbook shaded in better probably. Okay, all right, and the third one. So this triangle is shaped different, but not to worry because they gave us the height, which is eight centimeters. And we'll use this as our base because you know that this is the same as this down here. Okay, so let's get our rectangle out of the way. So area of the rectangle is 20 centimeters times 14, which I'm just going to tell you is 280 centimeters squared. All right, and I'm going to do the area of the triangle a bit lower down here. So I'm going to mark it for us. Area of the triangle is half times, we have our 8 times 14. Okay, and this one I'm going to stack for myself. So it's half times 112, okay, which is going to give us 56. And again, this is centimeters. All right, so now we'll do our subtraction, okay? So 280 minus 56, okay, is 224. Okay, I'm going to run out of room, but that is our answer because we've taken our rectangle area and subtracted the triangle area out of it. All right, does that make sense? I hope so. If not, you can reach out to me with any questions, and tomorrow is our Zoom, so you can reach out to me then as well. Okay, so now your task is to do all of page 70. Okay, and there you have it.